Whether you happily coexist with them or you watch out for them, spiders are unique creatures. Let's get to know the spider family a little bit more. There are more than 40,000 different species of spiders, making them one of the largest families of animals on the planet. Spiders come in a huge range of sizes, with the largest member of the family, the Goliath bird eater, reaching a whopping 12 inches in length. In terms of appearance, spiders can also be very diverse, with some species having brightly colored bodies and patterns, while others are more drab. Despite their differences, all spiders share common features, such as eight legs and the ability to spin webs. Spiders differ from insects, however, in a few key ways. First, spiders have eight legs, while insects have six. Second, spiders have two body segments, while insects have three. Finally, spiders have no antennas, while insects do. These physical differences help to distinguish spiders from their close relatives, the insects. Have you ever been surprised by a spider? Many people try to avoid spiders altogether. Spiders are often feared and misunderstood, but they play an important role in the ecosystem. These eight-legged creatures are predators, feeding on insects, rodents, and other small animals. In turn, spiders are preyed upon by lizards, birds, and even other spiders. By keeping populations of other animals in check, spiders help to maintain a balance in the ecosystem. As a result, spiders play an important role in the food chain and the overall health of the environment. While spiders are generally beneficial to humans, they can sometimes cause problems. Spiders are known to eat crop-damaging insects, but they can also damage crops directly by spinning webs across fruits and vegetables. In addition, spiders can also be a nuisance indoors, where they may build webs or bother humans with their bites. However, spiders typically only bite humans when they feel threatened. On the whole, Spiders are more beneficial than harmful to humans. They help to control populations of pests, and they play an important role in the ecosystem. Chances are you'll come across spider webs all around the environment. An orb web is one of the most commonly known spider webs. It is also one of the most efficient designs, as it requires the least amount of effort to construct while still being able to catch a large amount of prey. The orb web is made up of a series of radial threads that radiate out from the center of the web like spokes on a wheel. These threads are then connected by a series of horizontal silk strands, forming a net that can snare flying insects. While the orb web is the most common type of spider web, there are actually many different kinds, each adapted to suit the specific hunting needs of the spider. Some spiders build webs that stretch across open areas, like grasslands while others build webs that are hidden away in dark corners or crevices. No matter what kind of web a spider builds, they all share one common purpose, to catch food. Spiders are not choosy eaters and will prey on just about anything they can wrap up in their silk, from small insects to even larger animals like lizards or birds. While humans may view spider webs as creepy or even dangerous, they actually perform an important function in nature by helping to keep the populations of harmful insects in check. In addition, spider silk is also prized for its strengths and flexibility, and scientists are working on ways to harness these properties for use in everything from bulletproof vests to artificial knee joints. So next time you see a spider web, take a moment to appreciate the wonder of this silent hunter's handiwork. Did you know that there are over 38,000 different species of spiders in the world? While most of them are harmless to humans, there are a few that you need to watch out for. We will take a look at which spiders are dangerous and which ones you can relax around. We'll also discuss spider venom and how it can affect your body. So arm yourself with knowledge and learn about the different types of spiders that inhabit our planet. Venomous spiders have venom that is specifically designed to kill prey. This venom is composed of different toxins that can affect the human body in many different ways. For example, some spider venom can actually cause paralysis, while others can cause tissue damage. One of the most venomous spiders in the world is the black widow. These spiders are found in warm climates, and their venom can be lethal to humans. If you're ever bitten by a black widow, seek medical help immediately, as their venom can cause paralysis and even death. Another dangerous spider is the brown recluse. 
These spiders are found in southern and midwestern United States, and their venom can cause serious tissue damage. If you are bitten by a brown recluse, seek medical help right away as their venom can lead to necrosis, which is the death of tissue. While these two spiders are the most venomous and most dangerous to humans, there are many other types of spiders that can cause harm to us. The hobo spider, for example, is found in the Pacific Northwest, and their venom can cause headaches, nausea, and even vomiting. If you're bitten by a hobo spider, it's important to seek medical attention as their venom can be dangerous to humans. So now that you know which spiders are dangerous, you can be sure to avoid them. Remember, if you're ever bitten by a venomous spider, seek medical help immediately. And if you see any spiders around your home, be sure to call an exterminator to get rid of them. Stay safe and stay spider free. Do you love spiders? How about the really weird ones with bright colors that you don't see every day? If that's you, then you're in for a treat. We'll be taking a look at some of the most unusual tarantula colors and designs. These spiders come from all over the world and their coloring is sure to amaze you. Some of them are even native to the United States. So if you're curious to see some of the most interesting spiders on the planet, keep reading. Tarantulas come in a wide variety of colors from the more common browns and blacks to the more unusual pinks and blues. One of the most interesting things about these spiders is that their colors can actually vary depending on where they live. For example, tarantulas native to South America are often brightly colored, while those native to North America are usually more drab. This is likely because bright colors are a warning to predators that the spider is venomous. So what are some of the most unusual tarantula colors out there? Let's take a look at a few of them. One of the most striking tarantulas is the pink bird eater. As its name suggests, this spider is native to South America and can be found in the rainforests of Brazil. The pink bird eater actually gets its name from its diet. They are one of the few tarantulas that will actually eat birds. In addition to their unusual diet, these spiders are often notable for their bright pink coloration. If you're looking for a tarantula that's native to the United States, then you should check out the Florida Pebble Wolf Spider. As its name suggests, this spider is found in Florida, and it's notable for its small size and drab coloration. However, what makes this spider truly unique is its ability to change color. The Pebble Wolf Spider is one of the few tarantulas that can change its color from brown to green, depending on the environment. So there you have it some of the most unusual tarantula colors and designs from all over the world. Which one's your favorite? Let us know in the comments.